Hi, I'm Nana Gil and I want to be a superhero! And this week I am building my own super suit! Oh, so cool! Now, fighting baddies is an important part of our superhero job, as is eating cookies, obviously. Well, okay, that might just be part of my superhero job. Anyway, I've been thinking, what would happen if I had to race to a call to help, but still had cookies left on my plate, and I had to eat them all at once? Oh, what would happen if I was trapped in a cage made of something chewable? Or if I needed to create a distraction? I would need a cookie chewing tool to help me. Something that could help me bite my cookies into smaller pieces so that I could eat them with less effort later. Ooh, if it bites, maybe I could also use it to scare baddies too with its brr, 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 gnarly gnashes. But how do our teeth chew things? Our jaws and our teeth help us to do all sorts of important things like talking to our friends and chewing our food. Mm, chewing our cookies. Anyway, there are very powerful muscles inside our jaw that help us to open and close our mouths with the force that we need to break down our food. We've got pointy teeth at the front of our mouths that help us to cut, and the teeth at the back of our mouths are flat and wide, which helps us to grind food into pieces small enough so that we can swallow them. What we need is a super cookie chomping machine that we can pull out where there's an influx of cookies. Yes! For this experiment, you will need a box, you can use a tissue box or a juice box, a ruler, pencil, tape, two skewers, some paper, some thick cardboard, blue tack, an elastic band, an empty plastic container that has a flat section. I'm using an empty milk bottle, but you can use a margarine tub or an ice cream tub, and some scissors. So take your box. If you're using a big box, like a tissue box, the ends will become the top and the bottom of your jaw. So measure five centimeters up from the top and five centimeters from the bottom and make a mark. You're gonna do this on all of the sides, all the way around the box, and then you're gonna cut along that line. As you cut along, this is gonna give you a top and a bottom and a middle section that we're not gonna use. Okay, so we've got an upper and lower jaw. Now, tape them together on the back side so that you've got a bit of a hinge so that they can move up and down. Okay, so open it out so that you can see the back and now we're gonna try and find the center of each of these backs of the boxes. So to do this, we're gonna draw diagonal lines from one end to the other and then when they cross, that is gonna be your middle point. Now you're gonna make a hole in the middle of these points with your scissors. Now you want the width of this hole to be slightly wider than a pencil. So I'm gonna put my pencil in here to make it wide enough. And there's the other hole. Now you need to decide which is going to be the bottom of your box. So I'm gonna say this one is the bottom. I'm gonna put a little B on there so I remember. And then you're gonna make this hole slightly bigger with some scissors. Okay, now we're gonna make a paper straw by taking a wooden skewer and wrapping a sheet of paper around it. So make sure that your straw is thin enough to go through the hole in the box and long enough that it can go through both of the holes like this. Now you want to leave five centimeters of straw sticking out of the bottom section, which is here. And then you're gonna bend the top over so that it stays in place and tape that down. And then you're gonna trim the end off. Okay, so this straw is actually gonna be the mechanism that allows our mouth part to move up and down like this. So this is gonna be our chomping device. If you're using a thin cardboard box like mine, you're gonna to need to reinforce the box now. However, if you're using a thick, sturdy box with lots of layers in it, you might not need to do this step. So open up the box and we're gonna reinforce the bottom half of the box. We're gonna take some thick cardboard and cut out some thin rectangles that are as long and as wide as the box and tape them inside the bottom to reinforce the sides. Next, we're gonna make the jaw munching mechanism. So take some thick cardboard and measure and draw two 10 by two centimeter rectangles, then cut them out. Now we're gonna to need to reinforce these as well. So take a skewer and measure and cut two 10 centimeter pieces. And then we're gonna take those two our strips of card. Okay, now take your reinforced cardboard and you're gonna tape it one to the left, one to the right side of the box, close to the front and on the bottom. 
Next, take your cardboard tube and cut it so it fits nicely in between your two reinforced card pieces with a little bit of wiggle room like this. Okay, now you're gonna need to draw two circles using your tube on some thick card and then cut those out. Now you want to trim your circles so they fit just inside your tube, like that. When you know that they fit, use a skewer to make a hole in the center of each of the circles. So, once you've got your holes in the middle, now take your tube and you want to find the middle of the length. So my length is 10 centimeters. So I'm gonna find the middle there, that's five centimeters. And then you're gonna measure two and a half centimeters either side of that. So one, two and a half, one, two and a half. Now you want to cut a hole through here along this line. So be careful with your scissors. There's my slit. And now I can seal the ends of my circles on with some tape. Okay, next we're gonna need a bit of plastic that actually fits into our five centimeter slot here. So you need some flat plastic. I have a plastic milk bottle and you're gonna measure out a rectangle that is the same width as your slot. We know that ours is five centimeters and about seven centimeters long. Again, you can also use a margarine tub for this if you don't have a milk bottle. And we're gonna cut this strip out. Here we go. Now stick one end of the plastic flap into the slot on your cardboard. Okay, so you're gonna hold your tube somewhere in the middle here, and now you want to check the length of your straw. Okay, so I'm gonna need to trim the end of my straw here to about three centimeters when it's closed. I'm gonna trim that end off. Next, you're gonna test that as you rotate this tube in between these two reinforced pieces of card, as it rotates around, it should push up your mouthpiece like this. Perfect. If you find that your straw isn't moving, don't worry. You just need to adjust how close to the tube this is to the box. You might need to make the hole in the bottom of the box a little bit larger to give the straw more room to move, or you might need to make your little flap a little bit longer. Test a few things out to find the best way of moving the straw up and down with this flap. Once you've found the perfect position, hold everything in place and take a pencil and mark on the cardboard leg where the skewer hole is on the circle. Now you can use your skewer to make a hole right in the position that you need it to be on either leg. So there's my first one. Now we're going to measure how far up that is. That is 1.7 centimetres, so I'm going to do the same measurement on the other side and also make a hole. Next, we're gonna take an elastic band and we're gonna tape it loosely between the two pieces at the back of the mechanism. And this is gonna make sure that when our mouth is open, it actually can close again. Now you want to line your cardboard tube up here like this, and then use your skewer and go through your reinforced cardboard, then through the hole in your tube, out to the other side, and then out of the other holes like this. So this should now be able to rotate freely. Now you wanna make sure that the mechanism is going to work, and so as you rotate it around, it should put your mouthpiece up like this, and then when you let it go, the elastic band will force it to close again. So this is our chomping machine. Once you're happy with where the skewer is, you're gonna trim it so that you don't get any pointy, sticky out bits. And you'll probably find that as you roll it across, you're gonna get better action, the more friction you have on your surface. And so you can try this on a, on a table, but you'll probably find it slips a lot. So I find that actually using a towel or a carpet makes this much easier. So check that the action works. Go, mmm, chomp, mmm, chomp, mmm, chomp. How good is that? Okay, now what you can do is decorate your box so it looks like a set of superhero munching cookie teeth. Now I'm gonna put some paper around it and then color in some teeth. Okay, so you can see that we've decorated some paper and stuck it onto the front to be our teeth. Now for the moment of truth. Time to test it out with the help of my baddie biting buddy, Nano Nano Girl. Ta -da! Okay, I'm gonna have you stand over here and watch. Here we go. Cookie munching teeth in three, two, one. Ah, oh, chump! Chump, chump! Chump, 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 chump! Ah, oh, chump, 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 chump! This is awesome! Look at them go! What's that? Nana girl said she's scared of the teeth. 
Don't worry, they only bite cookies. Ha! Oh, and sometimes ankles. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> but don't worry, your ankles are too small to chomp. You'd be barely a mouthful for my chomping machine. I hope you've all enjoyed making your super munching tea. I'd better go find us all a snack. There's one more mouth to feed after all. Hey, now and I go. I have a question for you. What has lots of teeth but no mouth? What do you think? It's a comb. Get it? A comb. <laughs> I'm so funny. Oh, you're laughing. I'm laughing. Okay, it's definitely snack time. See you soon. Bye. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs>